What is up YouTube? This is the Pikawoo here bringing you another black and white Wi-Fi battle. This one is against Kill, spelled K-I-L, and it ended up being a pretty awesome battle. Now, um, we had a battle before, but it wasn't that great and it wasn't that close, so I decided to post a second one instead, and this one is much better, so I hope I, I, so I hope you guys enjoy. Now, my opponent's going to lead off with an Electros. I'm going to lead off with the Blastoise. Now, this isn't the best matchup for me because he can go for the Volt Switch, and that would be a win-win situation for him. So, I do decide to go into my Celebi to take that hit, but he ends up going for the Rock Tomb, which is really interesting because I don't really see any physical Electroses, and Rock Tomb isn't really um, standard in competitive play because I don't see that at all in competitive play. But um, anyways, that's going to work out for me because um, I can go for the Psychic, and he is going to switch out into an Entei. And I don't want to take a Fire-type move, so I do decide to go into my Mill Tank because I have that thick fat ability, and I'm extremely bulky. But I see that he goes for the Calm Mind, so he's one of those specially based ones, and that's quite interesting as well because I don't see many um, specially based Entei's. I usually see those event ones with... Flare Bullets. Anyways, I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks as he switches out into a Dragon Knight. And that's okay too, because I can paralyze him with a Thunder Wave. And um, the fact that I outspeed him means that he doesn't carry any speed EVs. So I am just going to go for the Seismic Toss to scout what kind of set he is. And he goes for the Dragon Dance, so I'm just assuming it's a bulky Dragon Dancer, like most Dragon Knights in the current metagame. Now, I know he's probably going to gonna go for the second Dragon Dance, so I do decide to go into my Blastoise here, and that works out perfectly because I can scare him out and go for the Ice Beam, and if he does stay in, I can take him out. So he ends up just sacking his Dragonite here as I go for the Ice Beam. Maybe he thought he can live one, but he can't because he doesn't know I am Max Special Attack. And um, yeah, he's going to get taken out. So he goes into Hydreigon here. Um, I know I can live a Draco Meteor because I'm relatively bulky. I carry some HP EVs and Blastoise has really good natural special defense as well as defense. defense. So I do decide to go for the Ice Beam. And um, Ice Beam does a lot of damage. Doesn't quite take him out. But because he's at minus 2 special attack, I can exploit the fact that he has weakened special attack and try to set up with my Celebi. And he goes for the Draco here. That's not going to do much. And then I can set up. If he switches out, I can get a free Nasty Plot off. If he stays in, I can get a free Nasty Plot off. So it's a win-win situation. So he goes into a Mew here. I don't know what kind of Mew set this is. It could be offensive or defensive. So after the Nasty Plot, I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain to see how much damage it does. And then um, go from there. So I am going to go for the Giga Drain. It does less than half, which tells me it's a relatively bulky one. And I see that he goes for the light screen. And because he doesn't have leftovers, I can safely assume it's a bulky one with dual screens. And probably recover as well. So um, I am just going to go for the nasty plot once more, anticipating the reflect. But he ends up going for the toxic instead. Which is okay because I have that natural curability and that's not going to affect me at all. But because he has the toxic on me and he does have that light screen up, he can pretty much secure um, stopping my Celebi sweep. So yeah, I'm going to go for the Giga Drain here just to do some more damage. He is going to go into his Entei, but his Entei is just going to get taken out by my next turn because I outspeed. So I am just going to go for the Psychic and take him out. Actually, Hidden Power. And this is Hidden Power Fire. And plus 4 Hidden Power Fire is going to take down the Entei even if he has screens up and he resists because Celebi is a beast. So he is going to go into his Sazendora here. I'm just going to leave my Celebi here as Death Fodder. Maybe he's going to go for the Draco, and I might be able to live, but he ends up carrying the Dark Pulse instead, and he's going to go for that, and that's going to easily take me out. Um, no big deal, because um, because he's locked into uh, Dark Pulse, I can go into my Heat more and take him out with a Fire Blast. But um, yeah, Dark Pulse does a lot of damage, but that's because uh, Heat Mart has really crappy defenses, and I am going to go for the Fire Blast, and that doesn't even take him out, which is like, what?! How does that not take him out? Because I am max special attack, modest nature, and he has like literally no HP, but I still don't take him out, which is really weird. I don't know how that happened, but it doesn't really matter. He's just going to take down my heat more. I'm going to go for the aqua jet with my blastoise and take him out. And what's really nice is that my blastoise is, um, is at torrent range, I believe. So hydro pump is going to do a lot of damage. And the problem is, I totally forgot I was at Torrent range, so I switched out, and he gets a free recover off. Anyways, um, I'm going to go for the Head Smash here, because I have that Rock Gem, but I miss! 
I'm adamant nature, rock gem, hit smash you would be a sure KO, but unfortunately he gets that reflect off before I can hit him again, so that really sucks. I'm just gonna go for the U-turn, go into my mill tank to try to stall out some of those um light screen turns by just being annoying and uh, milk drinking as well as seismic tossing. So he is gonna go for the second screen. I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna paralyze him because um Maybe I can get some para hacks going, and um, synchronize isn't gonna work because I'm poisoned. So that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna spam some, st or what is it? Actually, I'm not gonna spam. I'm just gonna switch out, go into my RK hops, and he goes for the toxic again. I guess predicting my switch. So that kind of sucks. But I'm just gonna go for the U turn again just to get some more damage. And toxic really doesn't do much to my RK hops because um. I am just going to switch out and Toxic isn't really going to be racking damage on my RK Ops because it's really a one-time deal. It, my main purpose for the RK Ops is pretty much to go for the Head Smash to one-hit KO things that can't get one-hit KO'd because 417 attack, 150 base power move with the Rock Gem is pretty much going to OKO everything. But um, yeah, I am just going to go back into my RK Ops, go for... And uh, yeah, what am I doing? I think I'm just going to go for the U-Turn once more. And he is going to go into his Archaeops, he's going to withdraw and go back into his Mew as I go for the U-turn. And um, yeah, I'm going to go back into my Miltank, I believe, just to stall out some more turns of the light screen. So um, I can take him out with either my Blastoise or my uh, Archaeops. Actually, I do just go into my Blastoise here because I know that um, if he does go for the Toxic, I carry the Lum and that's going to stall one more turn. And um, he can't really recover stall me anymore because... Uh, Hydro Pump's doing more than half, so after the screens wear off, it's going to be a lose situation for him. So, uh, the Reflect wears off, and I believe one or two more turns, the Light Screen will wear off. And now that I know his full set, it's Recover, Dual Screens, as well as Toxic. He can't do much to me. And um, right here, he just sets up the Reflect before I take him out with a Hydro Pump. So, pretty awesome. Finally, this Mew gets taken down. Really, really annoying. Just the fact that I spent like, what, 15 turns trying to take him out and stall some screens. But his last Pokemon is his Ele uh, Electros, I believe. I'm just going to go for the Torrent uh, Hydro Pump and take him out. And actually, that's not his last. He does have a Victini. And I'm just going to go for the Aqua Jet because it's priority, super effective, Torrent boosted. But that does like nothing to his Victini. I'm like, lol, what? How does that do like nothing? Which is so weird. I don't know how that does nothing. And um, he's going to take me out. So um, right here, I'm just going to go into my Archaeops here. Go for the Head Smash. Rock Gem boosted. Bam. One hit KO. And that I believe that is the game. I didn't go for the Earthquake because um, I'm guessing that's one of those bulky Victinis. So um, yeah, I was just going to share the KO with the Head Smash. And that is the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a comment below as well as give me the thumbs up and stay tuned for the comment question of the day. So this is the Pikachu. Thank you for watching my video. Peace out, guys.